A very good evening to you. Welcome to the premiere episode of Family Health with me as your new host. My name is Sharon Ongao. We have an amazing show lined up for you. Here's a snippet of what to expect. Mainly on the right, on the left hand side, I'm unable to uplift even a cup of 2 kg. Likewise, the leg is unable to walk. We want to control a condition from the, the source, where the problem starts, to where it leads. When the hand started healing, we realized that, especially the fingers, the fingers were, they were not straight, they had started bending. Contractors is when, uh, uh, when you have a full thickness or a very deep wound across a joint, uh, when the, that wound is healing and it's not grafted, it tends to bend the joints and, and as it contracts. Wounds heal by contracting when they are full thickness. So when they contract, the joint will fold. Once again, thank you for joining us. Starting us off is a condition that can lead to paralysis on one side of the body. Take a look. World Stroke Day is celebrated every year on the 29th day of October. The Stroke Association of Kenya held an awareness event with the aim of launching a program that will help those affected with stroke. It has uh, impacted so much. One, in fact now, the survivor has hope, which uh, survivor didn't have before. Stroke is a condition that usually attacks the brain and causes paralysis on one side of the body. A stroke is a condition where the brain is affected and the functionality of the brain, because it coordinates the body system, gets uh, affected such that you people end up with conditions like paralysis, inability to use their limbs such as the hands or the legs. The signs and symptoms vary on the side of the body affected. It all starts with blurring vision. You realize that you're not able to see clearly, which is uh, abnormal since you've been seeing uh, normally. And uh, in some cases when it is very severe, then there is inability to move or to lift your arm or to, to move your leg. Yes, so th those are the very most common uh, signs and symptoms of stroke. I missed memory from the brain, which affected this side of the left hand and the leg, of which by now I'm still getting to Kenyatta for clinic. At the same time, I'm attending for therapy at the Stroke Association of Kenya. It is uh, manifested in the right side of my body, the, uh, the leg plus uh, the hand and even the mouth because it showed by my, my mouth drooping on one side and so on. There are different types of stroke and for each condition the blood vessels are affected. We have what we call the ischemic uh, heart stroke and uh, we have the cerebral vascular stroke where the blood vessels actually that are feeding the brain burst due to a clot that has been traveling in, in the body and thereby affecting parts of the brain and the nervous system so that it impairs you know proper judgment and movement coordination and movement of the body there are several tests conducted to diagnose stroke depending on where it affects i just fell down of course collapsed i couldn't talk I couldn't walk, but uh, after some time, I got energy once again. I started walking. So when I went to uh, when I went to uh, to hospital in Nairobi here, and uh, they took time. I I was there from Satano up to uh, Sambili Usiku. It's when I was caught up seriously. And when they found me like that, it's when they said that I, must, I might be suffering from stroke. But now they did not also take me to, the, to do the head scan immediately, up to the following day. Uh, Satatu is when I went to, for head scan, and they proved that it is stroke. I had a feeling on my light hand up head, something like small touching, of which I didn't know what was happening. After some minutes, 
I, I, on my mouth, I contain some saliva. I was unable to talk, but I was unable to pay for somebody near to me to listen for help. After that, I requested for hospital. After within 45 minutes, I was taken to Kenyatta Hospital. I, the first thing they did, uh, they tried to ask me what happened. I tried to explain what happened on that time. I was taken to scanning and they found that on my right hand up on the head there were some cuts about seven on the vessels, blood vessels, which was dropping blood towards the brain. Stroke can be caused by various factors and triggers depending on an individual. I tried to inquire what was the cause, but the major they say is hypertension and the cholesterol in the blood. We have what we call the modifiable risk factors, which I think are really, really very important. One of them is uh, smoking, uh, excessive drinking or consumption of alcohol, uh, lack of uh, physical exercise. Of course, diet also plays uh, a role in this. And uh, among others, of course, genetically, if you've had a family history of a member of your family from either the paternal or the maternal side who have ever suffered stroke, then it means you are at a higher risk of getting a stroke. Physical exercise and diet plays a major role in prevention and management of stroke. Lack of inactivity actually leads to the buildup of cholesterol, bad cholesterol in the body which now affects the blood vessels, consequently contributing to the risk of uh, developing stroke. Uh, diet is very important. Of course, we need to avoid the uh, high cholesterol f types of foods so that we don't burden our blood vessels with the process of you know, trying to get rid of this because exactly what happens is that uh, high cholesterol levels leads to uh, you know, narrowing of the blood vessels. What I've tried to, uh, to take care of is to eat f uh, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, less of uh, red meat. I eat more of the white meat. Drinking plenty of fluids, good fluids for that matter. We don't advocate for, you know, sodas and juices. We would, uh, we, uh, personally, as a medical practitioner, would advocate for drinking plenty of uji, good clean water. Vegetables are very important, especially the green vegetables, as well as fruits. They are also bad foods. In, in a general term, we call them junk foods. These ones are not good because they contain highly, uh, high levels of uh, fat, which is not good for the body. And they also contain highly refined sugar. Early screenings and tests for stroke can save lives, hence the importance of frequent medical checkups. We normally do different types of screenings, for example, the blood sugars, that's the BS. We do that, we do the BP, that's the blood sugar, the blood pressure, and we also have the body mass index, just to monitor the weight, because out of all these three is where complication starts. I would like to emphasize that everybody outside there go for these tests because we don't want to treat a condition. We want to control a condition from the, the source, where the problem starts to where it leads. So it doesn't come that you come for treatment. Instead, you come, we help you on how you can manage your condition, either through lifestyle, either through uh, nutrition, and any other source that is applicable. The youths too are at a risk of getting stroke and other non-communicable diseases. Health is very, it's a boring subject to discuss with the youths. And more than that, non-communicable diseases, youths don't know about it. So we need to come out very strongly to start talking about non-communicable diseases among the youth because they start affecting us from youth, then they go to the old age. Because five years from now, NCDs is going to be a big problem. And if we can't be able to work on it now when it's still developing, then in future we're going to have a very huge problem in terms of non-communicable diseases. There are health complications among other challenges that may arise due to stroke. It affected me psychologically and socially uh, because I couldn't do anything. Everything was just 
done for me. And in fact, that's why I really uh, appreciate my wife. Because from that time, she's stuck to me. Even it is now going to seven years, she's stuck uh, around me. I experienced a life which I never experienced to, in my life to be. For one, I was working, I was working. Now, since then, I've lost the job. I was unable to feed the family and I was the breadwinner. So up to now, I've not resumed to, to work. Still, I have so many pains, mostly which is internal, which you cannot see physically, but internally, we are so much affected. Mainly, on the right, on the left-hand side, I'm unable to uplift even a cup of 2 kg. Likewise, the leg is unable to walk. Socially, people believe stroke is witchcraft so they wouldn't like to associate with me even going at home it was difficult for people to come and uh, see me come to talk to me and so on in fact one of the biggest challenge is that you know stroke association of kenya is a um, is a patient led organization so and when you have become a, a survivor you know, the, the first thing an employer does to you is to lay you off. So that now you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are left for death. So what it does, the, uh, what the organization does is that now bring these people together, and then uh, 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 now show them how to, how to, to live without uh, much hazard. Timely treatment of stroke not only improves your chances of survival, but also may reduce complications. Treatment, I can say it was good, because after I was diagnosed, I was given medication which helped me to cleanse the, uh, the blood from the vessels which was affected, and it, it gradually improved so much so that it enables me to work. Whereas as a country we are really advocating for universal health coverage, we do not have so many specialists, the so-called neurologists, uh, who are trained. However, treatment is available both in public, government, private, faith-based institutions. Uh, drugs are available. However, these may be limited to the cost. But yes, treatment is available and if sought from uh, uh, qualified medical practitioners, there is chance for survival even with stroke. Making healthy lifestyle choices may help in prevention of stroke. One thing, you must, uh, you must check on the foods. Food you have to eat, less sugar, less of um, uh, salt, and then uh, this person should do enough exercises. This idea of uh, jumping into vehicles, matatus, and uh, even uh, the border borders is not very good. Before you take a short breather, did you know that beetroot can be used as a hair dye? Here are more facts on its nutritional value. Benefits of beetroot Beetroot juice made from beets, a sweet root vegetable, has numerous health benefits. Here are some of the benefits. Beetroot juice is a good source of antioxidants and can help boost blood flow through the brain, heart, and muscles. Beets have necessary nutrients and fiber. Drinking it as a juice is more beneficial as it helps lower blood pressure. Beetroot juice helps in boosting vitamin and mineral levels in the body and are also good sources of vitamin C and vitamin B6. Beetroot juice is a super effective detox beverage that can help your liver dump harmful toxins from the body. Coming up next. Uh, the patient uh, is a baby who five months ago uh, sustained a burn injury. Uh, she put her hand in hot water, therefore sustaining burns to the hand. When the hand started healing, we realized that, especially the fingers, the fingers were they were not straight, they had started bending, and uh, of course the bands were a bit dry now.